This video brought to you by EquestrianCoach.com, the world's leading online video training site for equestrians. Hello, I'm Peter Pletcher. Welcome to EquestrianCoach.com. So after talking to some judges that judge a lot of the hunter horse shows, there seems to be a few things that are taking away from the hunters as opposed to what you want to see in the hunter ring. One of the things I think that seems to come up the most is the position of the rider after a line or say a single oxer. The drama of laying up on the neck and staying over as the horse canters away seems to take away a little bit of what the hunter judges are actually judging. We need to remember they're judging the style of your horse's jump. And a lot of times when the rider gives a giant crest release and lays up on the neck, it takes away from the horse's jump as opposed to what the riders, I believe, think make it look like the horse appears to be giving a beautiful hard jump when in reality I think it takes away from the picture. Perfect example right here. More times than not, you see that in the hunter ring now. Again here, nice distance and laying over and then the rider comes up. To me, very distracting and very unnecessary. I believe, and I think a lot of the hunter judges believe, that it takes away from the picture of the classic hunter. You didn't see that type of riding or position or release years ago in the hunters. When Rodney Jenkins, Bernie Trawrig, rig, Charlie Weaver. None of these riders, and they were great riders and they are great riders, they didn't do that. They had a nice connection, nice release. Point two of unnecessary drama. Watching the hunters, and watching a hunter go around the course, one of the pet peeves that I see as an exhibitor, watching a hunter go around the ring, the last thing I want to see is somebody giving them this help off the ground in front of the jump. To me, it looks like they're doing that as maybe their training was to keep them from hitting the jump or touching the jump. It again is so distracting and for the judges who are judging, I think it looks like, oh, you know, maybe this horse is going to get ready to rub the jump or maybe, you know, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you what I mean. And notice my hands in front of the jump. You have a nice connection, nice smooth canter, and then you see this off the ground. And then a yank again. To me, it's, it's, not, it's not about the horse again. It's about the rider getting in the way, and it's offensive. To me, it's ugly. <laughs> Third point for this discussion, and I'm very guilty of it myself, when a horse starts enters the ring and starts to canter, there seems to be a lot of posting going on in the canter. 
I think the idea is to be connected, sitting back to, like I said before about the other famous writers in the past. You did not see this posting at the canner as much as we see it today. And I am very, I'm, like I said, I'm very guilty of it. I do it to get in a rhythm. But as a judge, if you're cantering around, posting like this, I'm of course over-exaggerating just so to get the point across. But there are people that do it this drastically. This would be much more appealing to the eye of the person watching the round as opposed to carrying around the ring. Again, it takes totally away from the horse and it's ugly. Point number four for our unnecessary drama. A lot of times you see riders trying to get the horse to land on the correct lead. There's nothing probably more ugly and getting in the way of your horse as some people do trying to get the horse to land on the correct lead. I'll try and demonstrate that. really throws the horse's balance off. Yes, it might make them land on the correct lead that you want to go, but as you witnessed, I was way off to the side. Another thing I'm going to show you without the jump, very similar. The riders step way out and totally looks ridiculous. And the fifth point that I'd like to share with you is the under saddle class. We've all gotten a little bit lazy in the standing up, posting, if you will, at the canner. The canner is supposed to be smooth, fluent, just a little bit slower than a gallop, and a lot of people have gotten to where they stand up the entire time at the canter in the under saddle. Give you a little view of what I'm talking about. Normal canter, sitting, showing the nice smoothness of your horse. And this is what you see a lot of the time. This position in the under saddle, your horse gets way down on the forehand. Sure, it's a little more comfortable for the rider, but does it show your horse off? Not so much. And this, back to the posting around the ring. You decide which looks better. Many years ago, the riders sat to the canter. Somewhere along the way, a fad began about the posting to the canter, the standing, 
in the stirrups at the canter. And I believe probably what really happened, if the truth be known, the horses are a lot, if you will, more ready nowadays than they were. So even to prove my point even more, if you have a horse that's a little bit hot and you stand up in the stirrups or post to the canter and take a feel and let go, very distracting first of all, but it automatically alerts the judge, okay, I need to watch that horse more because, you know, maybe it's getting ready to blow up, maybe it's too tense for, to be in this under saddle. I think, as I stressed, I think it became a fad that maybe people just took on and now they're using it as a teaching aid, which I think, like I stressed before, the great riders before, they didn't do that. They sat, and I know for a fact those horses were hot, a lot of them, and I think the standing in the stirrups, or if you will, the two-point, back in the day, they used to have to do a hand gallop, and to do the hand gallop the correct way is to get in a two-point and get off of your horse's back and let him gallop forward. And I think a little bit of that may have filtered into what we're seeing today in the under saddle classes. But again, as a judge, if I were judging, I would look for that smooth horse that a rider can sit and be in perfect balance with. I think the balance issue is what is at hand with people standing in their stirrups and posting at the canter and so on. I think the posting in the canter is more of just a laziness for the rider. And I'm pretty guilty of that as well. So it's, it's easy to see how things can happen and evolve in our hunter world. So as you're watching this video, and I'm talking to you about certain issues, maybe think about it rather than react to it. Think about the greats who used to ride. Think about how those beautiful horses and smooth trips evolved into the hunter world. Don't you think we should probably try and get back to that? Uh -huh.